Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, formula manipulation, um, a topic that can get a few people. Um, you do a little bit of it without knowing you're doing it when you're solving um, equations. But when you're asked to, when you're asked it just formally like this, sometimes it can uh, it can get people. So it says to express x in terms of the other variables. Okay, so that means essentially that you need down the bottom for any of these x equals. Okay, that's how you express x in terms of any of the other letters. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Okay, so. We have 3x minus 2y equals 4. All right, so remember my goal, I want x equals down the bottom. So I would like, in this case, to leave x's here on the left uh, because they're already there. But this minus y bring over the other side because I need x equals to everything else. Okay, so that minus 2y, you can either think of it as bringing it over the other side and it changes sign so it's plus 2y, or of course you can plus 2y to both sides, whichever way you've been taught that. So 3x is equal to 4 plus 2y. I want to express x, not express 3x. So therefore, I need to remove that 3 from in front of the x. So therefore, I get x is equal to 4 over 3 plus 2 thirds y. And that's your full answer. Okay, let's have a look at question two. Um, express x in terms of the other variables. So we have brackets here. So the first job in, in algebra normally is to get rid of the brackets. So let's multiply that in. Five by x is five x. Five by minus three is 15 is equal to two y. I start multiplying by five here uh, because the brackets close. So we want x is equal to. So minus 15 needs to move. And he will come over the other side as plus 15. Divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. What I do to one piece of an equation, I have to do it all the way across. So that they cross, they cancel, and you get x is equal to 2 fifths y, and 15 over 5 is 3. Okay. Now, question three. So you'll see the way I have this laid out, it gets slightly harder um, as I move over. So this one, express x in terms of the other variables. Uh, so x is um, a little bit of a fraction in this one. Uh, again, I need x on its own. Now, it doesn't matter if I have, so for example, this one down here, if I had 2 fifths y plus 3 equals x, they are the same equation, okay? Everything is just on opposite sides of each other, but that's okay. So I can say in maths that two plus three equals five. I can also say five equals two plus three, okay? So in that sense, it doesn't matter which side the letter is on, okay? I tend to leave what I want on the left if I have a choice, uh, but not necessarily. In this one, because my x's is on the right, I would probably leave x's on the right. So I'm going to end up in this one getting something something equals x. Okay, and that's perfectly fine too, as long as x is on the side on his own. Right, but how do we deal with this one now with a fraction in it? Well, the easiest way is to multiply across by three. Okay, so you multiply the minus two by three, you multiply x over three by three, and you multiply 3y by 3. And where did I get 3? I got it from here. Because I know that 3 over 3 cancels to give me 1. Okay? Or put into your calculator 1 third by 3, and you'll see it's 1. Where did I get my 1 third? x over 3 can be written as a third x. Okay? That is also the same thing. Right, so let's multiply this by 3. 3 threes, 9y. 3 by x over 3, well, the 3s cancel and I just get my x, minus 3 twos are 6. Okay, 
Now you can see it's a relatively easy one. Six comes over, so I have nine y minus six equals x. That's it done. Okay. Now, question four. What happens when the letter that you want to write in terms of appears twice? Okay, like in this case, we have an X here and we have an X here. What do we do then? Well, the little bit of theory behind this one is factorizing. So you get all your X's to one side and then you factor out that X. Okay, so let's do that. So all my X's I'm gonna bring over to the left-hand side so that I get XY minus XZ equals YZ. Okay, so you can see now I do have more than one X's, but they're all together on the left and then everything else is on the right. Okay, so factorize out that X because it's common between the two terms. And you can see by factorizing it out, now X just appears once. Okay, this is attached to X by multiplication. So to bring it over the other side, you will end up dividing, okay? Or divide both sides by the number beside X. Okay, that will have that cancel so that you get X being equal to YZ over Y minus Z. Okay, so a little bit harder in my opinion when the variable that you want, the X appears twice. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.